Welcome to Range Wave. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Splice Bridge. I'm going to get my tempo set and my metronome all set up how I like it. Splice Bridge is a really cool way to integrate the Splice app into your DAW, and I'm going to show you how it works here real quick. All right, got my click set, good to go. If you use Splice samples or have a Splice account, download their app, um, and we're going to open that up. And there's this little tab uh, when you open it up, apps and plugins. Click on that and you'll see bridge and you'll want to download it. Obviously, I already have it downloaded. If you need help downloading the plugin or getting it into your DAW, Splice on their website has tons of videos that show you how to do that. But here we go. I'm going to open it up. Here's my plugins. Go to Splice and click on Splice Bridge. So there it is. Before I start listening to samples, um, I'm just going to start my playhead so that it keeps going so you can hear the click in 110. So here we go. Open up the app. And I'm just going to search for drum loops. And no matter what the tempo of the loops are, they should match up to my session. So as you can see, this one was 70 originally. And here it is at 110. This one's 80. As you can see, this is super helpful for workflow. Um, if you're looking for different loops, if you're looking for different sounds, um, if you're exploring Splice, you have them already right inside your session, inside your project as you're working. Okay, so I'm gonna download this one. Once you pull in your audio file, you do have to warp the tempo um, just like you normally would uh, because it's not inside the app. So here we go. I'm gonna double click on it, warp. Switch it to 112 because that's what it is originally. All right, let's check it real quick. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what we missed and what we should talk about next.